Continuing with objective two, we're going to define and spell word parts related to obstetrics and neonatology. So I'm just going to leave this up here while we go over the combining forms. So we have amnio and amniono, which mean amnion or amniotic fluid. Chorio means chorion. Embryo, embryo. Feto or feti, both mean fetus, unborn offspring. Gravido means pregnancy. Lacto, milk. Nato, birth. Omphalo, umbilicus or, or navel. Paro or parto means to bear, give birth to, labor or childbirth. And purpuro means childbirth. So I'm just going to put those up here. And then again, they're just asking for the definitions of each of the combining forms that we are about to go over right now. So the first one is cephalo, meaning head, esophago, meaning esophagus, primi means first, pseudo, false, pyloro, pylorus, pyloric sphincter, teratto, mal, excuse me, malformations. And then we have prefixes. Anti or pre mean before, micro is small, multi, many, nulli is none, and post means after. And then we have suffixes, amniosis, amnion or amniotic fluid, siesis is pregnancy, the E and the IS are both uh, noun suffixes, they have no meaning, rexus means to rupture, toshia birth or labor, and then the U-M and the U-S are also noun suffixes and have no meaning. So here are just some word parts with similar meanings, just so you don't confuse them. So NATO is birth, paro or parto means birth, I'm sorry, bear, give birth to, labor or childbirth, purpuro is childbirth, and then toshia birth or labor. Once we get into actual medical terms, these will all make a little bit more sense to you. And we've gone over something similar to this slide before, the suffixes with the RRH in it. And so there are four suffixes in all that all begin with this RRH. And they're, they kind of have a similar meaning, but a different meaning. So rhea, flow discharge, ragia, rapid flow of blood, excessive bleeding. So again, rhea, could mean any kind of fluid flow, okay? But ragia is specifically blood. Raffi, suturing or repairing, and then rexus is rupture. And so we have one review question, which of the following word parts mean pregnancy? And so hopefully you are choosing A, gravido and siesis both mean pregnancy. Paro, parto, and toshia means um, well, paro and parto mean bear, give birth to, labor, or childbirth, and then toshia means birth or labor. And that will end this recording.